These are like thousands of dollars, but you guys seem to really like the uh, penny list that I've been putting out, so surprise, here's a list of 10 of them that are worth like over a thousand dollars and upwards of six figures on, I think one or two, uh, but some really, really rare ones that have been found in circulation, albeit some of them only a couple times, uh, but... They are things that could be found, and you could put some really good money in your pocket way over the face value of a little old penny. So, let me know what you think of the coins in the comments below after the video. I'll stop shaking the camera, and let's get to a list. So let's get back at it with another great list of pennies to look for in your pocket change that can be worth really good money. These 10 pennies are really awesome ones. And they have a wide range of values, so I think you'll really like the video like uh, many of you like the other penny videos. Let's start off with the 1983D Bronze Lincoln Penny, which these things can go for well over a thousand bucks in the $1,500 to like $1,800 region. In the early 80s, due to high copper prices and the shortage of essential metals, the U.S. basically transitioned from a copper penny to the zinc core pennies uh, in 83. So these are known as transitional coins uh, due to that transition of metals being used to make the coins. The last 95% copper pennies were struck in 82. So the new 1983 pennies were 95% zinc. This gave way to a lot of different errors. So those are things to keep an eye out for. The 1983D bronze Lincoln pennies can be really, really valuable, not only because they're a transitional coin, but also because of the history behind them and that there's not really many of them in really high MS grades like MS-68 and above that are going to be out there. These coins can go for a wide range, but generally range from around $1,300 and upwards to about two grand for a red 1983 bronze Lincoln Penny with a D mint mark. Next on our list is the 1981S Type 2 Proof Pennies. These can go for well over seven or $800 and upwards of around $1,500 and are really neat coins. Now there's obviously a difference between Type 1 and Type 2 varieties of Lincoln cents. The difference between the two is the S on the coin. There's a different shape between a Type 1 uh, those coins having a less defined S and type 2s that have a really clear one. 79s and 80s are generally type 1 variety. About 10% of Lincoln Memorial proof pennies were struck with the punches bearing the type 2 though. So these particular pennies are much more rare than the other ones and they are also really valuable and highly sought after. 1981 S type 2 proof Lincoln Memorial pennies uh, again, go for a wide range, but can go anywhere between about seven or eight hundred dollars and upwards of around fifteen hundred dollars when they're in PF sixty-seven or above. Next on the list is the nineteen eighty-three double die reverse penny, which these things go for thousands. These things are also really great because on these nineteen eighty-threes with this double die error on the back side of the coin, you can see this with the naked eye as it demonstrates one of the strongest doublings in pretty much the whole Lincoln series. This is really, really prevalent. As you can see, clear doubling around the motto E Pluribus Unum and the words One Cent and United. Ones that you see in auction that are higher mint state grades are extremely hard ones that were obtained, so it makes them the most valuable when you see them sell. One of these examples of a 1983 double die reverse uh, was graded MS-68 and sold for $7,500 at auction. Next on the list is the 1969 double die Lincoln Penny. These are extremely, extremely valuable, jumping in value to over a hundred grand in one case, and generally in the high tens of thousands of dollars in most cases when you see them go to auction. The 1969 Lincoln Memorial pennies uh, have a double die error on them, and it makes them super rare. Examples uh, were discovered in like the late 80s, and they've been found since. It's super clear and visible to the naked eye, similar to the previous coin, 
and this makes them super desirable. Dominant areas for the doubling is on the word liberty and around the motto in God we trust. Now there's like 30 some odd or maybe 40 exist, so there's not a ton of them out there. Uh, but is one that definitely needs to be mentioned since you're talking a six-figure coin if it's graded in even a lower MS-60s grade. The next coin on the list is the 1998 Wide AM Penny. If you want to know a ton of stuff about Wide AMs and Close AMs, you can go to the linked video in the description box about those where I really kind of break it down. I won't bore you here. But these pennies are really, really cool, and they can be worth a few thousand dollars if they're pretty decent grade. Now, this is due to an accident, which is pretty interesting by itself, as it's said that mint workers accidentally struck the reverse of this circulation coin with the reverse of proof dies. Now, this here is super noticeable on 98s, 99s, and 2000s uh, that are circulation strike Lincoln cents, and the 98s are the most rare because they're the hardest to come by. If you check out the letters A and M in the word America, you can determine whether it's a business strike or proof strike for these coins. Proof coins dated 94 to 2008. The letters A and M are really separated from one another, whereas business strikes are going to show a close AM when it comes to the letters in America. These coins can be worth quite a bit of money, like I said before. So these are roughly uh, a wide range of values, but have been seen selling in auction in grades like MS-66 and above for well into the thousands, close to six or $7,000. Next on the list is the counterpart to the wide AM, the close AM, the 1992 close AM penny, and these things can be worth well into like 20 grand. The 92 pennies ended up with a close AM design because it is supposed to be similar to the transitional 1993 cents. And in particular, this makes the 92 close AM pennies the only ones in the Lincoln series to have a transitional design similar to that of the 93 wide AMs. Now, only three examples of the 92 close AM penny with a transitional design have been discovered at all making these extremely rare, and these can be worth a ton of money. One of these sold a few years back at a heritage auction for close to $30,000, but they're estimated to be worth close to fifty dollars or $60,000 in high MS grades now. Next on the list is the 1971S Double Die Obverse Proof Penny, which now we're getting back down to kind of the realistic numbers, as these are worth a couple thousand dollars, but they're still obviously very valuable, but we're not talking like a six-figure coin anymore. These are not something that you're going to easily come by, but many of them have been found. And 1971S proof double die obverse Lincoln pennies come in two different varieties, one that has a very weak doubling and the other one that has a super strong doubling to it. The main areas you'll notice doubling around are the words liberty and the phrase in God we trust on the coin, which you'll see on the front of the coin. The last time one of these sold, it was in a deep cameo example in a PF67 and sold for $4,300. Next on the list is the 1960 D over D small date over large date penny. Although that's a huge mouthful, these things can be worth a ton of money, well close to five or six grand, if not more, depending on how high of a grade it has. These things have a crazy history as the initial mint mark was punched in the wrong orientation, and then they attempted to amend this error by striking another one, and this resulted in the mint marks appearing to be piled atop one another and created the error. This coin also has a repunched error on the dates, where a large date was struck first and then a smaller date was struck on top of it. This creates kind of a two-part error on this coin, making it really, really valuable, even in the lower MS grades. These can sell for a couple thousand dollars on the low end, but can easily sell close to ten grand on the really high end. Another great coin to keep an eye out for as well is the 1972 Double Die Penny, which can be worth well over $10,000. A Type 1 is considered to be the most valuable. 
Now, type 1s have the strongest doubling and is just visible to the eye, noticeable in the motto, In God We Trust, and the word liberty on the front of the coin. The 1972 double die type 1 Lincoln cents are definitely the rarest, and this increases the value by far. Ones in really high grade, for example, one in MS-68 grade, sold for close to $20,000 only a year or two ago, and on average, these can garner at least $2,000 at auction in lower grades. Last on this list is a not-so-old coin, which is a 1990 No S proof penny, which can be worth fifteen dollars to $20,000. This is easily one of the most sought-after coins in the Lincoln Cent series, and it's because it's just one of those oddities. It's the only proof Lincoln Cent that doesn't have a mint mark. It's also one of the ones that has less than a couple hundred specimens that are known to exist, so it's just extremely rare. This thing was accidentally struck using a mint state die that had been mistaken for a proof die, and the mint state die did not have a mint mark, so it resulted in, uh, in this error happening. Now, weirdly enough, the mint did admit to destroying several no S proof pennies struck in the 90s and to creating the error uh, by accident. These coins are really, really rare, but one that was graded in an extremely high grade, which was MS69, was sold in auction only a couple years ago for $23,000. I know many of these cents that were on this list, if not really all of them, were Lincoln Memorial pennies, but many of those are of course going to come up in pocket change. Although some of these cents are a little bit older than others, you can definitely come across any of these in pocket change, as all of them have been found in circulation. Let me know what you think about these really rare pennies in the comments below, and hopefully you've come across some really good stuff in your coin and banknote searches lately as well. I'd love to hear about that in the comments, so put them down there as well. Thanks for coming to the video. Hit subscribe if you like collectibles like I do, and I will see you in the next one.